this lesson, I want to talk about the difference between frameworks and libraries. Since Bootstrap is a framework, uh, we need to understand what exactly framework is and what it will do to our web page. And some people mistakenly think that framework and libraries are virtually the same thing, only different names. Some people think that framework is a collection of libraries, and both of those assumptions are wrong. Framework is not a library, and framework is not just a collection of libraries. In order to uh, demonstrate the difference between these two uh, frameworks and a library, I want to show you a couple libraries and then give you an example of a bootstrap framework. The first library that I want to talk about is animate.css. If you Google animate.css, you'll get to this uh, web page. And basically, it's a collection of CSS classes that will animate any element that you add those classes to. So in order to demonstrate this, you can choose whatever class you want, and that will happen to it. If we look at uh, their GitHub page, you can get to their GitHub page by going clicking this link. And if we scroll down to usage, we can see that all we need is this external style sheet. But if we add this external style sheet, nothing will happen to our web page unless we specify any class. Uh, uh, and add those classes to our um, tags. So if we add these classes, then something will happen. Moreover, some animation can occur. But if we just add this CSS class, CSS style sheet, I should say no animation will occur yet. We will just have this uh, classes that we can use. Another uh, framework that I want to show you is hover.css. Basically, it's a collection of hover styles. You can go to their website and look and play around with the different hover styles they have available. And if we go to their GitHub page and scroll down to uh, this section, we can see that the author suggests us to copy whatever hover style we like and add it to our style sheet. And to do that, you can go to the CSS folder, click on the hover.css, and just find your favorite uh, CSS hover uh, style and add it to your CSS uh, style sheet. For example, if you use to, uh, if you choose to use hover.sq, add it to your uh, style sheet, and then add the class to your element and only in that case your element gonna be affected by this library so basically library is just a collection of helper classes they not necessarily change your document change your styles they just uh, uh, you have just access to array of classes or functions that you can use throughout your web page Next, I want to talk about framework. What I got here is a code pen with a little markup, just an A tag with the hello world. And you can see that there is a margin around the document. Also, the text is blue and it's underlined. And if we inspect it, we can see that these styles are being applied from user agent style sheet. And user agent style sheet is a style sheet within your browser. Basically, in my case, Chrome decided decided that my links should look like this. And if we go ahead and add Bootstrap to our document, just uh, add Bootstrap by clicking this CSS cogwheel and then search for Bootstrap within the search bar. Uh, once you find it, click Save and Close. We can see that margins is gone and there's uh, uh, no underlying text. The underlying text actually appears on the hover state. So we have just added Bootstrap Framework and a lot of things has already been changed. Uh, the margin has changed, the text has changed, the color has changed, the font family has changed, and we haven't added any classes. So the big difference between Framework and the library, library will not change your document unless you tell it to change your document. Where framework will go ahead and change your document as soon as you add the framework to your um, to your uh, web page to your project. 
So uh, with Bootstrap, when we're going to be working with Bootstrap, the main thing to take away from this lesson is that the framework will go ahead and change your styles, change your elements, change the way your document works on mobile. And uh, uh, you need to be ready for that. You need to realize that Bootstrap will change your document without you telling it to change your document.